I'll show you how easy it is to add something to your Spread Simple site, just managing that Google Sheet that drives the Spread Simple site. So here's my page that has my portfolio on it. It's got my items down below. If I click on any of those, it will launch that item where I'm hosting it in S3. I can resume, I can start over, just like your regular hosting behavior would work. So Spread Simple is really just functioning as the landing page or the portfolio for all of those content items. Behind Spread Simple is this dashboard, and this dashboard is run just by a Google Sheet, so it's really easy to use. There's some various design things that you can work with, and I would just encourage you to take a look at the Spread Simple tutorials, but adding something to this is really, really easy. So here's everything that I already have on there, and all I want to do in this tutorial is just add another course. Here's my Google Sheet that has my courses on it. So all of this is building that entire website. Just a few course titles, descriptions, an image, a link, and what tool they were built in. For now, I'm going to add another RISE 360 course. I already know what it's called. It's called How to Use Google Docs, which is a course that I use with a webinar. And here's my how to use Google Docs being hosted in Amazon S3. So when I click on that folder, I have some content. And what you need for RISE is this index.html file, but we need the link to it. So we need this object URL. I'll copy that object URL, go back over to my portfolio and put that in my link column because that's where the actual course is living. I also know that this is a RISE 360 course, so let's just tell the spreadsheet that, and we'll also give it a description. So let's take a look at that course and just grab some of the description from here, and we'll just paste that into my description column. The last thing I'm going to add here is an image. So the image is what we're seeing in this little card. There's a couple different ways you'll do this depending on if you're showing a RISE 360 course or a Storyline 360 course. And so let's take a look at both of those. I'll do Storyline first because it's a little bit simpler. If you're working with a Storyline 360 course, every Storyline course also has a thumbnail. So this is a storyline course I'm hosting in S3, this HHS ethics training. And if I go into the story content folder here in S3, there's a thumbnail for this particular course. So if I open this in a new tab, we can see that thumbnail for that course. So really quick and easy, I could just grab the link for that. But for RISE, it works a little bit differently. So if I go back into my how to use Google Docs in my content folder, I don't have that same structure for my content folder here for a RISE 360 course. So if I go into something like the library, it's different, right? I don't have that thumbnail. If I go back into the content folder into my assets, however, what I do see is every single asset that's in that particular RISE 360 course. So that might be something like your videos, your images, your avatar on the beginning of the course. All of that is there in the published output. It's just a matter of finding the image that you want to use. So if I start scrolling through these and taking a look at what I have I could look at the GIFs, I could look at these PNGs. So let's take a look at this PNG here. And we'll just open it up, see what it looks like. I'll open it in a new tab. And this looks like it's gonna work fine. It's a screenshot of a Google Doc. So let's just grab that URL, bring it back over, place that image link into my spreadsheet, and that's all I have to do. Now I come back over to my Spread Simple dashboard. I click on the refresh button. So I refresh the Google Sheet data. And there's my new course there down at the bottom, RISE 360, the description, and the how to use Google Docs, and the view button. That view button shows up automatically because I have that turned on here in my content settings in Spread Simple. My last step is to just click publish and then I can open that up and see the addition of that course.